prophecy in the Bible is one of the things that proves that it is the authentic word of God. In Isaiah chapter 50, we have <clears throat> the very thoughts and intentions of our Lord Jesus Christ prophesied 800 years before he was born on the earth. In Isaiah chapter 50 and verse 5, it says, The Lord God hath opened mine ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. This is the Lord Jesus Christ in, in just telling us this is what's going on in the life of our Lord. He says, God opens my ear. God speaks to me and I'm not rebellious. The incredible plan of salvation that the Father has, the Son carried out on the earth. And it was a hard one. It says in verse 6, I gave my back to the smiters. Well, as we read the Gospels, we know that that's exactly what happened. Pilate delivered Jesus over to be scourged. And my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. They, they pulled the, the, the hair of his beard out. They, they whooped him. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. We, we read of all of these horrible things that happened to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so he's explaining to us, you know, this is the plan of God. He opened my ears so that I could hear what he wanted me to do. I was not rebellious. He goes on to say, for the Lord God will help me. <laughs> the, the Lord Jesus Christ knew that his father was helping him all throughout the incredible suffering that he endured for you and me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. What an image, what, a, what a, an understanding of the Lord and his singular purpose of mission. Boy, just his face set like a flint. A flint rock is hard, dark rock that, that you, you know, it's just a, a symbol of something that is absolutely ungiving. It's, it's hard. We talk about hard as an old flint rock. Well, Jesus said that he set his face like a flint in his determination. He knew that he wouldn't be confounded. He knew that he wouldn't be ashamed because he knew that God would help him to carry out the mission that God had given to the Son. What an incredible understanding we have here from the book of Isaiah. You know, it's interesting, Luke 9.51 tells us, it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. And so there is that, that understanding, that image of setting his face like flint, an incredible determination. I'm, I've got my path in mind, the Lord Jesus says, and I'm not going to change from that path. You know, uh, Charles Spurgeon preached a message on this many years ago, and he said that, that what he wanted to do was to encourage followers of Jesus to set their faces like flint, to follow the one who set his face like flint to die for them. What an incredible way of saying that. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2 tells us, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Jesus knew what was coming. He knew what he was going to have to endure. The, the father had opened his ear. He had, he had instructed him. The son was not rebellious. He did exactly what the father uh, told him to do. He knew he would not be confounded. He knew he would not be ashamed. And so he set his face like flint. He endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And Hebrews tells us to set our eyes on Jesus, who set his face like flint to go to the cross. I just want to encourage you to do that. Fix your eyes on Jesus, set your face, and, and follow the path that God has for you. You will not be ashamed. God bless you. Have a great day.